Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will cover another data type which is which is content reference. Uh, let's see. So I'll create another content fragment model and I will mention it as content reference CF model. <clears throat> let's create it. Let's open it. And I have this content reference let's give it as some name reference yeah and here again similar type multi field uh, multiple field means uh, we will have multiple options let's rather than speaking let's have another one content reference fragment one and here I will name it as content reference. Let's first configure the first one. Uh, content reference placeholder. It's okay. Default value root path. If if you want to go any root path, make it required. Show thumbnail. Accept only specific content type. So this content reference will only accept which one we want to make it whether it's a plain text, .txt file, rich text, image, audio, video pdf document i am going to select everything okay selected everything and then it will ask what is the minimum size maximum size so accept only specified file size so i say less than or equal to maybe five byte <laughs> very less for an image but let's see okay uh, if the the content which I'm referencing is less than five byte, accept it. Otherwise, don't accept it. So this is first one, and the second one I'm saying again it's content reference, but this time it will be with multi. And it says maximum number of items, so maybe I will say two, three maybe. And here also the same thing for which we want to accept it so it's okay I'll select everything let's save it now let's go to the folder we'll go to assets files Let's see if demo. Let's create a new content fragment with the content reference CF model which we just created. And I will say it's content reference CF demo. Let's create it. Let's open it. Okay. Two types. So here we can see the difference. One option I can add multiples in first one we don't have that feasibility so that is the difference between multi and single one and let's talk let's see um if i the the constraint what i have given is maximum five byte so i just try to select any of the dam and of course the size will be huge and if i'll try to select any of the image which of course will be, be greater than five byte so it will we'll see this error five size cannot can be at most five byte and this select option is disabled so it means i cannot select it now just for the just for the sake of this demo i have uh, dropped two files one is the sample.txt which is of three byte another one is another sample which is of 220 byte so let me try to add this one which is inside cf demo first i will select another sample which is 220 byte i'll get this error i'll try to select the sample.txt which is just 3 byte and i don't get any error. i am able to select it so that's it in this video we we have just seen how can we use this content reference data type in our content fragment portal thank you so much for watching stay connected